What is going on, people? We are here today at the tabletop talking about Space Force, or at least the K-Bar edition of the United States Space Force, as shown here in this rather collectible-looking box and packaging, all the Space Force colorways, and then on the back here we have a bunch of propaganda, I mean information, about the Space Force. Uh, so it's Blade Steel OS 8A, uh, stainless steel they're saying, handle material is Zytel, okay, common affordable materials that actually do work well for their intended purposes in a blade design such as this. The features, it's a fixed blade, ambidextrous, yeah, that's kind of how fixed blades work. Uh, quick deployment, hard plastic sheath, reversible belt clip. Okay, and then here, here we go. From roaming the stars to defending your own space, our USSF products have universal appeal and will put you light years ahead of anything you may encounter. Hope I was in frame for all that dramatic nonsense. Uh, and then there is the part number if you want to get one. I don't know if these are limited edition, TDI Astro MP. And I don't know if these are actually going to be issued out in any configuration. I don't know if Space Force is actually getting issued teal blue or Tiffany blue or I guess Space Force blue uh, on their K-bars. I don't know what that would blend in with or whatever. But I mean, it's kind of a cool colorway. It kind of reminds me of like the 90s pastels and stuff like that and growing up. And so it's cool. I bought one. I had to have one. Not necessarily... Um, going to use this one. I've got several of these in black of all shapes and sizes and different configurations and I carry one with me defensively all the time. So this is just kind of like a cool little collectible thing but still perfectly functional. Uh, I will take it out of the packaging here and show you guys. There's a receipt. These things are like 40, 50 bucks. I do believe maybe slightly more because they're like the special, special edition ones or whatever. Um, but it comes in this clamshell like this and then comes out beautiful pristine i do like the colorway it's kind of cool with the with the blue and then it's got like a gray silvery you know whatever matte white um powder coat kind of thing to it and it's just a cool looking blade you could definitely carry this and use it defensively obviously if you're looking for full concealment uh the high vis colors are probably not your best bet but either way it's sharp it's extremely extremely sharp I'll tell you that. And uh, the K-Bars always love the TDIs because you don't need to necessarily be a knife fighter, a Doug Markaida, a Fred Mastro, a anybody from Funker Tactical. Um, you know, it's, it's just rather intuitive, extremely ergonomic, punch, slash, whatever. Uh, you know, stab, do your thing, reverse grip, they feel great in. Um, but it's just a useful tool, weapon retention, self-defense, uh, or, you know, just cutting boxes or doing whatever it is that you're doing with the blade. It will do it. And a uh, nice, simple design, fixed blade. Again, absolutely beautiful. And then, uh, let's see here. Here is the sheath, gray sheath, kind of to go along with the blade. This is different from the sheath that they would typically, um, or at least have in the past, offered with these knives. I guess I'll actually get the blade out here and show you guys the blade in the sheath so it goes in there holds it like that you could carry it like appendix scout carry upside down it's also reversible in uh, several different configurations so you could unscrew these screws and mount them however or wherever you want gives you a lot of options uh, you can even probably take this off and uh, somehow affix it you know to where you could carry it in the pocket and just thumb break it or whatever you know whatever you had to do but just a cool cool little addition to the collection i don't know how many people out there are familiar with these i know a lot of people are into the space and whatnot i do not believe that we landed on the moon in 69 um van allen radiation belts they lost the telemetry data i don't know it's a little suspect little suspect in my opinion you guys can leave it in the comment section below but as far as uh, the government is concerned i don't trust them but i figured this little space force knife uh would be a good addition to the collection it's cool you know who knows if they're going to make them forever who knows if space force is going to be a real thing you know 10 years from now or maybe it's going to be the only thing 10 years from now who knows um but i thought it was pretty cool I'm going to buy it, save Queen it, sit it up on the gun safe or the shelf or whatever. And just a cool little thing. And then one day, if I need a knife, you know, for whatever, I got one. And I'll look super cool and radical and old school, but futuristic at the same time. So that's the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Uh, does space exist? Is the earth flat? Would you buy this knife? 
you know, the, 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 the real questions, the nitty gritty, would you buy this knife? Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to check the first three links in the description box below of every single one of my videos. Those are to help you fight for your God-given inalienable gun rights. Constantly under attack, forever important. You know what? The blades are pretty important too, okay? Overseas, they can't even have kitchen knives, let alone a self-defense blade that they carry on their person with them for self-defense purposes, okay? Let's think about it before we end up with sticks and stones and then, you know... We should have already been breaking the bones or something like that. I don't know. Either way, fight for your rights, people. Live your best life, people. Thank you so much for being here. Ring that notification bell if you're subscribed. Please subscribe if um, you guys have not yet. And stay tuned. I'm always uploading content constantly. And, uh, you know, it's it helps grow the channel, share the videos, participating, liking them. All that stuff goes a lot further than you guys think, especially battling the uphill anti-gun YouTube algorithm. And all that shameless self-promotion aside, thank you guys so much for being here, and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.